What happens when you put your CPU in the wrong way? Well, today we're going to find out, but we have to have a special guest appearance on this channel. We have to have the hammer because this video, I'm warning you right now, not safe for PC enthusiasts. So the first question I think we all have is what happens when you put in the RAM the wrong way? Well, let's find out. So I've set it up so you guys get a nice view. Over here we have some RAM. Let's put it in the wrong way. And uh, let's see what happens when we get some anger out from this last week. Actually, I can't be too angry. I got some of that, uh, some stonks, boys. I think the best way to go for this is to hit this right on where the keying is. So where the little indention is in the RAM. Make sure that does not line up at all. Y'all think I've been joking up to this point. Y'all ready for this? I think we should may maybe rephrase this to uh, how many things work when you turn it on. So I actually have decent RAM in here too. Like I actually have RAM also in here it's, that actually clicks into place. Uh, that we're gonna see if it even works. I'm, I'm curious what's gonna happen. Nice screwdriver with a rubber handle. Well. It's um, doing something. It's not turning on anything on my screen though. So, uh, surprise, surprise. Let's see how bad this RAM is damaged. When was the last time you took out your RAM with the uh, this end of the hammer? Attention ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got. The RAM? Well, the RAM looks fine. It's the socket over here. You want any RAM to fit? You just uh, take a pump, couple uh, pumps with the hammer and uh, you'll be looking quite good. You can make any RAM fit for you. Yeah, next up, let's try the graphics card. Now, normally, actually I need to take this um, this off as well. This is not happening with. We're, we're not. We're not taking the metal shroud and banging that through the motherboard just yet. So let me go through and take this off real quick. So now we have a graphics card, and normally, you take your your graphics card and you'd put it in. Uh, well, this way. You'd put in like normal people. But you see, this channel isn't for normies. So. Let's take this and, uh... Do it this way. And see what happens. You ready? This is kind of not working. I gotta make sure it goes in all the way. Because if it doesn't go in all the way, well... Now it should fit. I'm warning you guys, this is the last chance you got. I need to take a picture of this. You guys are gonna want, you guys are probably already gonna see this. I'm gonna post this on my uh, YouTube store right now. Hold on, this, this doesn't look as good. Hold up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's busted. So the question that I'm sure you have now at this point is, um, why is the motherboard bent? And what happens when we turn this on? Well, let's do that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you prepared? The lights flickered, but nothing happened. Now, let me ask you the question. Are you surprised? 
Let me unplug everything, though. I guess any graphics card will fit if you, uh, force it. Well, when you take the GPU and you put it in the wrong way, uh, you get a, um, computer that doesn't turn on. So if you're surprised by that in any way, uh, don't be, that's kind of what you would expect when you put the GPU in the wrong way. So, let's do the next logical step in this situation. And let's try... And now, you guys ready for the bonus content? You guys ready for the content you didn't expect? Maybe even a future video, perhaps. What happens if you put your RAM in the GPU slot? That's a good question. Let's try putting the CPU in the wrong way. I'm trying to make sure you guys get a good view of this. Let's install our CPU. Now, normally, if you're a normal person and a normie when you build your computers, normally you have yourself the triangle on the bottom left side. And in this case, that usually lines up with something on the motherboard. But in this case, I'm uh, not a normie and I build my computers, I'm special. So I build my computers uh, the other way. I uh, build them that way, yeah, yeah. So we're going to line this up, line the bottom up, and uh, make it fit. Now, just a heads up, uh, anytime a hammer gets near sensitive motherboard pins, you probably want to think twice uh, about what you're doing. But for this case, uh, this is my channel, and um, I have a strange addiction to doing things to computer parts you probably shouldn't. Uh, so definitely either uh, subscribe, subscribe, uh, cause I have a serious problem. So I think the best way to go about this is one nice tap. Believe this or not, I literally did not damage a single pin on the motherboard. And now the CPU fits in the socket without a problem. Oh. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to put a cooler on this because that's how confident I am that that's going to um, not work out. So let's go through and uh, see what our issues are. The CPU light is on though. It says, uh, it says I have no idea what's up with the CPU. But interestingly enough, yeah, it's working. At least, I mean, it turns on, it'd be a good, like, fan or something. Well, that might be another thing. I might need some RAM. You guys see that? Just for the sake of this video. I think we're good. Oh, the CPU still has problems. Wow. Now what happens when you force your CPU in, the CPU power cables in? Actually, this may not be a good idea. Actually, when is anything good on a good idea on this channel? Well, what happens if you put your cables in the wrong way? Well, uh... 
I mean, I did it for the CPU. I mean, we might as well try that, see what happens. Something could happen, something could happen. How do you turn on your computers, guys? I use my hammer. CPU still has problems, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure the... The, um... The CPU is not doing the best. Yeah, uh... Y'all might want to subscribe, um... And tell me what other wonderful guest appearances the hammer can have in the next video. Uh, until next time, though, uh, see you guys later, and uh, make sure you check out the other videos in the series of a answering stupid questions uh, you never knew you had.